Grassroots community programs will share in a quarter of a million dollars in grants to tackle gambling addiction. The expansion of services into regional areas is in response to increasing demand for help to break the cycle of addiction. When Cade fell into a gambling addiction after a car accident left him housebound, he lost more than just money. Lost my partner, my two kids, my mum and his little sister, my whole family walked away from me. But with the help of community football group Recklink, Cade's rebuilt his life, reunited with his family and found a second family in his team. It's just a massive change in my life that I never thought would happen. Groups like Recklink will share in $250,000 worth of grants from the state government to tackle gambling addiction. People in regional areas that are experiencing disadvantage means that all those benefits um, that we all know are there within sport come to them too. There are members of the community that do like to gamble and it's OK to do so, providing that you do that responsibly and that you know the risks associated with gambling. The Responsible Gambling Foundations also revealed plans to expand its services, including working with the Alfred Hospital to re-establish mental health clinics in regional Victoria. Sometimes people who might be experiencing gambling harm might also have a mental illness, and so it's important that we're not sending people off to all different services to get the supports they need. Cade's now using his experience to reach out to others. Don't be scared at all. Reach out. Come see, come see us. Casey Lodge, Win News.